The Associated Press denies Gaza office building was shared with Hamas terrorists. Over the weekend, Israel bombed Jala Tower in Gaza, a building used by the U.S. news agency, the Associated Press, but was also being used by Hamas terrorists as a base of operations. The Associated Press president and CEO put out a statement denying the news organization knew Hamas was in the building, saying, quote, We are shocked and horrified that the Israeli military would target and destroy the building housing AP's bureau. And other news organizations in Gaza. They have long known the location of our bureau and new journalists were there. We received a warning that the building would be hit. The Israeli government says the building contained Hamas military intelligence assets. We have called on the Israeli government to put forward the evidence. The attack on Jala Tower was executed after Hamas fired hundreds of artillery missiles into Israeli civilian targets. One Israeli was killed in the attack. The IDF tweeted out in response, after providing advance warning to civilians and time to evacuate, IDF fighter jet struck a multi-story building containing Hamas military intelligence assets. The building contains civilian media offices, which Hamas hides behind and deliberately uses as human shields. In a series of follow-up tweets, the IDF gave assurances that the building was indeed being used by Hamas for operations against Israelis. Yesterday, we targeted an important base of operations for Hamas's military intel in Jala Tower. The base gathered intel for attacks against Israel, manufactured weapons, and positioned equipment to hamper IDF operations. We warned civilians in the building about our strike out of concern for their safety and gave them enough time to safely evacuate. Hamas and Islamic Jihad used this time to take items out of the building. We were willing to pay that price to not harm any civilians. Hamas chooses to hide among civilians as it carries out attacks against Israel. This choice does not grant Hamas terrorists immunity from IDF strikes. We will continue to operate in order to defend the people of Israel. As you might have guessed, I have my doubts that the AP didn't know Hamas was using the building, and I'm going to dig deeper into this story, but first check out this free offer for my viewers. Ask yourself, are you on the investment treadmill? You know what I mean, saving and saving and saving cash for retirement. Well, guess what? That savings isn't going to be worth much by the time you retire. Cash is trash. You have to make money work for you. You might already have the money that you need, but maybe you're not using it right. You're probably relying on stocks or mutual funds when really you need to diversify. Opening a gold IRA, for instance, gives you an instant cash injection and gets your return soaring. With gold likely to go $2,500 an ounce this year, it's a perfect time. If you feel like this could be the answer for you, call the team at Noble Gold, take out a qualifying IRA this month, and they'll gift you a solid gold 22 karat 1 10th ounce American Eagle bullion coin. Visit our website now at the link you can find in the description or pinned comment. Go right now and check out this free American Eagle gold coin offer. Welcome back everyone. Thanks for watching. As I stated earlier, the AP has denied any knowledge of Hamas using that building, which I find utterly unbelievable. Beyond that, I'm disgusted by their willingness to play a part in what is a well-known Hamas terrorist tactic of using human shields. A tactic that would not work if not for the willingness of the media to play their part. I've mentioned this before, but it's completely absurd to believe that Hamas has come up with this perfect, flawless military strategy that allows them to attack their enemies without fearing repercussions because they've surrounded themselves with civilians. First of all, the AP statement is glaringly dishonest, and it reads like it was written by Hamas themselves. The statement starts off that they, the AP, are shocked and horrified that the IDF would target a building that they were using. Then finally, it mentions the fact that the IDF warned them and waited for them to get out, then bomb the building, meaning there was no loss of life. The IDF even said that they actually allowed Hamas to escape with weapons and intelligence in order to save innocent lives. What other country is held to these ridiculous standards? I mean, this is a war. The IDF only responded after civilians were targeted with another artillery attack. Now, granted, I have no evidence of this yet, but Israel has always been very forthcoming with a ridiculous level of transparency on these things. I have no doubt that Israel will release evidence, probably video showing Hamas assets coming and going from the building. There's a guy named Noah Pollock. He's the executive director of the Democratic Alliance Initiative. He tweeted out that his contacts in the IDF said that the AP absolutely knew that Hamas was using their building as a base of operations. Saying, quote, spoke to a well-placed friend in the IDF just now. The bombed AP office building contained 
multiple Hamas operations and offices, including weapons manufacturing and military intelligence. The building also housed an Islamic Jihad office, and AP's local reporters knew about it. I mean, is it really that hard to believe that their local Palestinian reporters knew about Hamas in that building and were okay with it? Or maybe they weren't okay with it, but Hamas is a terrorist organization. It's not like they have a lot of choice in the matter. So back in 2014, a now former AP editor wrote an article about how Hamas manipulates and intimidates the media, saying, quote, in previous rounds of Gaza fighting, Hamas learned that international coverage from the territory could be molded to its needs, a lesson it would implement in this summer's war. Most of the press work in Gaza is done by local fixers, translators, and reporters, people who would understandably not dare cross Hamas, making it only rarely necessary for the group to threaten a Westerner. The press could be trusted to play its role in the Hamas script instead of reporting that there was such a script. So yeah, I don't buy the AP's claims of ignorance here, especially given the hyperbolic statement put out by the CEO and the fact that none of them were killed because the IDF warned them ahead of time. I'm disgusted by these people who are either complete idiots or who are willingly allowing themselves to be used as propaganda by a genocidal terrorist organization. That's all I have for this one. Please, on your way out, hit that like button, share, and subscribe. If you want to support this channel, you can find all those links in the description or pinned comment. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow.